Hey y'all, it's Serena, and for today's video, I will be filming a makeup review, a palette review on the new Diamond Bay palette by Yelena Beauty, y'all. They used to be Yelena lashes, they used to just have lashes, lash glue, and stuff like that, but they just recently transitioned over to Yelena Luxury Beauty, so they do have eyeshadows now, which I'm so excited about. They were so kind enough to send over their new collection. I'm so happy about this, y'all. The palette is immaculate. Let's just go into it really quick before I start this look. It's mostly just eye and lip focus. I didn't really do the face routine. But as always, the products will be listed down below if you guys are curious. But the palette is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see, but let me do a little close-up for you. Sorry, y'all. I literally had to turn off my ring light because the exposure is way, way, way too bright. Um, But this is what the palette looks like. But super duper pretty. I love it. It has a whole bunch of cute pressed glitters on the top. And then the bottoms are like shimmers and mattes. And it's a perfect combination. For this look, I used about one, two, three four, five, six shades. I wanted to use as many as I could for one look while making it cohesive and kind of easy to repeat um, and kind of, you know, replicate. So I wanted to incorporate especially the glitters. You guys were telling me on my Instagram story that you wanted a tutorial using them. So I used the one called Rich B. It's a super pretty gold glitter. Oh, so pretty. Mattes are cute too. Let me do this one. Wet Dreams. Super pretty. I know swatches don't do too much of a justice because you know they blend differently on your actual skin with a brush, but I wanted to show you guys some just in case you guys were interested. Enough rambling, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I got this look, all the other specs and everything about the palette, how I felt about it will be at the end, so stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure to do that, duh. Click that bell notification button so you're notified every time you're gonna post a new video. Also follow me on my social media sites, they'll be linked down below, as always. If you guys wanna see how I got this immaculate burgundy smoky glitter pretty lit just keep on watching all right you guys so i already did one eye off camera just to get that done out of the way and now i'm going to show you guys how i got it on this eye so let's get started all right so to prime my lids i'm taking the p louise base in the shade rumor 04 and just putting that all over my lid i want to start with a tacky base because it's going to make my shadows more pigmented if you guys want to do a tacky base you can if not you can set it with a little bit of translucent powder and you'll be good to go. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see the eyeshadow more. I'm not gonna really be focusing on the face makeup today, just the eyeshadow. I usually do a similar base routine in all my looks, so I'm just gonna show you guys the eyes and lips mostly. So the first shade I'm gonna be using from the Diamond Bay palette is this shade called Dirty Love. I don't know if you guys can see it that well, but it is a dark burgundy color. I'm just gonna take that and put it on my lid, kind of towards more the bottom part, and just tapping it since my base is tacky um, it's going to stick very well and be very pigmented so I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this right on there you don't have to blend it right now or anything um, just go ahead and tap it and then with another ABH blending brush I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off those edges and start blending them upwards this look is super duper easy you guys so I barely have any steps um, but just bear with me <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade bad girl it's a lighter kind of shade. It's a more burgundy shade, but it is on the like wine red kind of color. So taking that on a different ABH brush, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, just tapping and then going ahead and blending it upward just so you get that even blend between both colors. And sorry, on my window is open. It's really hot in my house right now. So if you guys hear cars and shit outside, so sorry. All right, and then to blend out the outer edges, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm taking these shades Sugar Mama. It's this like nice brown color. Um, and then I'm also gonna take the one next to it called Naked. I'm just gonna mix those two together to get a nice medium brown shade for my skin tone and then go ahead and blending up the um, outer, outer edges right where my brow bone is. So right there and then right in the inner corner, just making sure everything blends together, even go on the outside just blending everything seamlessly. So before I cut my crease, I'm gonna go ahead and take a Q-tip. You can use micellar water, whatever. I'm gonna use my mouth. No ma'am. No ma'am. Um, and then go ahead and just make your cut crease. I like to do this so it takes off the excess eyeshadow. So then when you do cut your crease, it's not gonna be a like burgundy cut crease. It's gonna be the color um, that you want it to be since it'll be blank, since you're kind of like sketching out where you want your cut crease. You can also use a makeup wipe for this. Um, and just like wipe away the like first 
kind of half of your eyeshadow. You guys don't have to take off all of it, but if you have like a majority of it off, it's good enough. Then to cut my crease, I'm using the ColourPop Concealer in the shade Fair Double Zero. It's just a blank white color, and I'm going to cut my crease with my Morphe M224 brush. And just cut your crease however you guys want. Um, every eye shape is different. So you might have to go over the crease. You might have to literally just put it on the lid. But what I do is I kind of stamp it, and then I just look into my mirror. And then it kind of tells me where my cut crease should be. Then you can just kind of follow that line. So if you just look straight into your mirror, it should be good and tell you where you have to put your concealer. I'm just going to tap off the excess concealer before I apply my lid shade, just so it doesn't get too mixed up together. And then I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take the shade Naked on just a flat brush and put it over the concealer that we just cut our crease with. And this palette does have quite a bit of fallout, so if you guys do experience that, just go ahead and wipe it off with a brush. That's why I like to do my eyeshadow first, just in case I do have any fallout, it doesn't mess up my base. And then for the outer corners, super easy step, I'm just gonna go back into Bad Girl, the light burgundy shade, and then Dirty Love, the dark burgundy shade, and start with the light one, Bad Girl, and just go on the outer corners of my eye, making sure that I blend it so it looks seamless and it doesn't have that harsh line of demarcation where we cut our crease at. So just go ahead and keep repeating those steps, doing the light burgundy first on the outside and then the very outer corner is gonna be that darker burgundy shade called Dirty Love. All right, and now for the smoky part, I'm gonna be taking this black gel liner from NYX. It's in the shade Jet Black. I don't recommend using a liquid liner for this, y'all, because I tried it first and I fucked up. So I'm gonna be taking a gel liner to do my base for the liner and then I'm just gonna smoke it out with the black shade in the palette. So just using a small detailed brush, I'm just gonna dip into that gel and go ahead and start creating my line. You guys can do a thick line, thin line, whatever y'all want. Just keep in mind that it will be smoked out so it will get bigger and bigger as you do blend it. So once I applied that gel liner from NYX, I'm gonna go back into my palette and take the shade Dark Mood. It's this pretty black shade, and I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it on top and start to blend it out a little bit, just to make it smoky. Smoky! 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 Smoky, what the hell are you doing? And keep in mind the black shade in the palette is not very pigmented. It does kind of, you know, get less pigmented as you blend it out. It's not a harsh black color. So keep that in mind if you guys are looking for a really dark black. This one isn't it. It will kind of set your liner in place and you can get it to be smoky. But I did have to use a little bit more effort to blend out this black and to get it to be pigmented. All right, you guys, so the eyes are just about done. We're gonna focus on the face now. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. If you guys wanna know the products that I'm going to be using, it will always be listed down below as always. Um, I'm just gonna focus on the eyes and like the lips for today. So when I'm done with my base, I'll come back to you guys and finish off the eyes. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and finished my base off camera and then I finished up this eye just so I can show you guys how I do it on this one. So all I basically did was finish up the lower lash line and then the inner corner. What I started off doing was taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This one's in the shade Odar. Darling. It's the extra dimension skin finish and then I just put it on my brow bone just to give me a little highlight and a lift And then for the lower lash line I'm taking those same shades we use in our crease I'm gonna first take the shade dirty love the dark dark burgundy color and put that right on the bottom of my um like lower lash line. So keep in mind not to use too much shadow on the lower lash line because I said before it does have quite a bit of fallout in this palette. They're pretty pigmented but they do have a little bit of fallout. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your lower lash line. And then to just conclude everything, I'm taking Sugar Mama and Naked and putting those on the lower lash line just to blend everything out seamlessly. And then for my waterline, I'm taking the NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Medium just to make my under eyes a little bit more brighter on the waterline. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit, just putting it on my top and bottom lashes. So this look was literally so simple. I tried to do a look that everyone can do. It's not too difficult. For my inner corners, I'm going to be taking the NYX Glitter Primer, taking a little bit on the back of my hand just to prep the glitter for the inner corners. Then for the inner corners, I know y'all wanted to see the glitters in this palette. I swatched them over on my Instagram story. But these are very, very pigmented, um, but they work probably better with your finger, but I don't just want to put my finger in my inner corner. I'm just going to use a small Morphe M421 brush. Kind of go side to side in the palette, going like directly on it kind of doesn't get that much product, but if you go side to side it does get quite a bit of product on the brush so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on top of the primer that we put in our inner corner do y'all see that pigment babe look at that oh my god then I'm gonna move on to lashes I'm gonna take these sweetheart lashes in these style these are Heidi's super duper pretty and wispy they're not too long to the oh my 
right. They're not too long to the point where they're gonna cover the look, but they are wispy enough and full enough to make the look stand out more. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these off camera and I'll be back with you guys to finish off the lips. All right, you guys, so I finished off the eyes. Now for the lips, I'm gonna take my two favorite lip pencils from ColourPop. One is in the shade BFF3, and then the other one, please hold. The other one is in the shade BFF4, so I'm gonna take three first and line my lips and then do a little bit of lining with the darker shade. You guys know the drill. To fill in my lips, I'm taking the MAC lipstick in the shade A Girl's Got Needs. And I will be adding a little bit of gloss on top, so it's not going to stop here like it always does. I promise I'm trying to do other lip combos. I promise. I'm going to take two glosses. First, I'm going to use the Anastasia Gloss in Fudge and then the Anastasia Gloss in Toffee. So I'm going to first take Fudge. It's a little dark, so be careful. I'm only taking a tad bit. And then in the middle, I'm taking the lighter shade called Toffee. And then just finishing off with some Morphe setting spray. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair because it's looking crazy. Um, and then I'll be back to show you guys, oh my gosh, I look crazy. Be back to show you guys my thoughts, tell you guys my thoughts on the palette and everything else. All right, you guys, this is the end of my Yelena Luxury Beauty eyeshadow palette review. Again, this is the Diamond Babe palette by Yelena Luxury Beauty. It's so beautiful and I'm so happy that they sent it over, so thank you guys again for that. So getting down to the nitty gritty, I loved how my look turned out. Let me zoom in for you guys so you guys can see the full capacity of it. All right, so this is how the look turned out. I did just a neutral kind of cut crease with some burgundy tone and then I incorporated a black smoky liner and then also a gold inner corner so I love how this look came out it's actually one of my favorites I've done in a while but yeah I love how this look turned out if you guys do recreate it let me know tag me on Instagram and all that good stuff so yeah, this is how the look came out. And as for the specs of the palette, you guys can get this on the Yelena Beauty website. I will have it down below for the direct link. I don't know the exact link name, but as always, it will be down below in the down bar. But this palette does retail for a whopping $60. Now I know what you guys are thinking, $60 for a palette, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> But I would say if you guys are like a makeup collector and you guys want some new brands to go look after and you guys want some new shadows and new formulas, I would definitely check out this. I'm not being paid to say this or anything, not sponsored. It was just gifted. Don't worry. Honestly, if I were to spend my own money on this, I probably wouldn't spend $60 on this palette. For me, I would say this is yes, Serena approved, but the price point to me is a little pricey. I probably would have sold this for about $40 or so, not $60. The pigments are really nice at the top. I love the glitters. They're really pigmented. They're vibrant. They're staying on. I love them. As for some of the mattes, they don't actually have that much of a, they don't have that much of a color payoff. I would say the worst one for me was Dark Moon, the black shade. It didn't really give me what I wanted when I was doing my smoky liner, as you guys saw in the footage. It was a little bit, not patchy, but it didn't have opacity to it um it wasn't as opaque so i definitely wouldn't recommend the dark moon shade you guys can find another black shade and use it in a different palette but everything else in the palette i fuck with but yeah this palette is definitely serena approved if you guys want to try it out and recreate this look let me know tag me comment below do what you gotta do um but yeah i absolutely love this palette and i will definitely be doing some looks with it soon so yeah y'all that wraps up this review slash tutorial i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already what are you doing, sis? Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification button so you're notified every time your girl posts a new video. Also, follow me on all my social media sites. They'll be linked down below in the down bar, as always. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you all in my next video. All right. Bye, guys. In oh, oh, my gosh, my nose. It itches. And for today's video, y'all, the window. <sighs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> Y'all, I should be a cover girl. Ooh, ooh, ooh.